So today we're going to take a look at Stony Creek's newest entry into the tent market and it is the Armadillo 1.5 and it is a one and a half man tent. I like having my own tent when I go on sheep hunting, goat hunting trips. Um, I don't want to have to smell other people's dirty feet, things like that. So I like my own space. And it's nice to have a tent that's a little bit bigger than a one man. You know, you can bring a lot of your gear in with you, keep it dry and things like that. So, but this is a lot more than a tent. It's also doubles as an emergency shelter. So let's take a look. First thing you're going to notice about this tent, it comes in a real dry bag. So if you have to tie it on the outside of your pack or something like that, your tent is going to stay dry, but let's take it out. Now, the fly and the internal part of the tent are two different pieces. So say it's raining really hard when we get somewhere, we can just pull out the fly, pull out our poles. Now this is a self-standing tent, so we don't have to worry about uh, pegs to start with. So what we can do is just put our fly out like this get it set where we want it. If we want to set this up quickly in the rain, just to get out of the rain, we can also do the same thing. Strap it underneath. Then we're just gonna break out the poles. Now the great thing about this is the poles are on the outside of the fly. So we can set the fly up first, keep the internal part of our tent dry, or even if we don't want to set the internal part up, we can just set this fly up as an emergency shelter. Now, Really cool set of poles on this. It all just goes together as one big unit. And it also comes with a little repair piece here. Don't lose that if you ever break one of the poles. So we just lay the poles on top of the fly in an X and it's important that the two orange ends are at the same end. And if you're a forgetful guy like me, Stony Creek makes it really simple. You put it at the end with the orange clips. So orange to orange, you're good to go. Super fast to get these poles on. They just slide into these sleeves here. There's no big sleeves to run them through or anything else. Just slide them in the pocket. Go to the other end. Really easy for one person to set up too. And just push it up into the sleeve and into the sleeve. Now that's the main frame of the tent. Now what we're going to do is just clip it up. And there's just a whole bunch of these clips here that kind of hold it all in place. I'll just get these all put together here and then I'll show you that uh, there's one more pole goes in after that. But once you've got this up, you pretty well got everything dry and uh, only takes just a couple seconds to do. I'll just get the rest of these done up. So we've got all our clips done up. Great thing is, is a freestanding tent. We don't have to worry about pegs or anything yet. And we've got one more pole here. Just clip it together really quickly. And it's just going to slide through this sleeve here at the front. And just push it through. And there's a little actually a peak on it here that goes right smack in the middle. And if you see in our strap here, there's a hole in there and that just goes in like that. Do the other side. Then the final thing we do is just hook up these clips to the side and there right now we have a fully functional emergency shelter or just a lightweight shelter if you want to use it for that. Come here, take a look inside. Um, you know, it's... If we were in an emergency situation, we can literally get this thing set up probably in a minute or so. We could all crawl inside there and get out of the rain or the snow or, you know, whatever's causing us to set it up so quickly. But you look in there, we got lots of room for, you know, three guys in an emergency. But the great thing about this is it becomes a fully functional tent if we want that as well. So I'm just gonna grab out of the bag here. So this is the actual tent portion. And 
it just clips up inside the fly. So unlike a lot of conventional tents where you have to set the tent up first and then the fly goes over top, the great thing about this one, you set the fly up first. So if it's pouring rain, I don't want to get my tent wet. It's just a matter of throwing it inside and clipping it all together. And it's just got a bunch of these toggle clips and they just go in rings in the inside and it just kind of all suspends from that. So we get that separation from the fly. We get that air movement in there. We don't get that condensation in there. If you notice, there's a lot of mesh on this tent for a four season tent. It is a four season tent, but it's probably got more mesh than a lot of tents you're used to. And the reason for that is to promote air circulation. And if you've ever been in New Zealand, you know they get a lot, a lot of rain there. So condensation is a real issue. But even here in North America, condensation can be a huge issue. And that's the problem with a lot of the one-man tents on the market is they're almost sealed too well. And even if your tent keeps you dry from the outside, if you get water starting to drip from the inside and a bunch of condensation, you can get soaking wet. So I prefer a tent that's got enough mesh so you get that circulation. But let's just put the, the tent portion inside and clip it into place. And then we'll show you what that looks like. So just putting the last of the toggles on here. And you'll notice there's a lot of separation between the actual tent and the fly, which is critical to keep dry. And there's clips on each end. And you'll notice these clips are black. The ones at the other end are orange. So it makes it super simple to get your tent in the right direction as well. So that's simple to put the tent inside. Uh, there's a nice vestibule that comes out here. We've got a bit of a ground sheet for it as well to keep things dry. So let's get a few pegs in the ground we'll get the vestibule out and we'll show you what it looks like finished. So like everything Stony Creek, the pegs they give you are super high quality as well. So we've got all the corners and middle stake down. We're just gonna pull the, the fly out here now. And then we've got five pegs left. And what they do is go around on all the guide wire or the guide ropes, but uh, I'm not gonna put those in now, but that just makes that tent all that much more sturdy. One thing about freestanding tents is you wanna make sure they're pegged down well, because if you get a big wind, they can take off like a sail. So really important that we stake them down well, but come on in here, take a look. So as you can see, there's tons of room in here. I can have my sleeping bag in here, my sleeping pad. You know, I can even put my pack and my boots and everything in here with me. I've also got the bigger vestibule in the front if I wanna put some of that. But notice how much separation we have all around between the actual internal tent and the fly. And that is critical to staying dry. And even though there's a lot of mesh in here, you notice how far the sidewalls come up. So if you get a lot of side wind or something like that blowing snow, it's still not gonna come in. This is gonna stop it, but all this mesh allows it to breathe. So you don't have the con condensation problems inside associated with a lot of one man tents. Got a little rack up here for you can put your wet socks, things like that, dry them out. Pockets on the side, super heavy duty floor. Yeah, um, you can also get a ground sheet for this, but um, I definitely don't see the need for one. This is more than waterproof. So all in all, I am super impressed with the Armadillo 1.5 from Stony Creek.